Have you scrolled Facebook or X and found CBC News ads promoting cryptocurrency? That's not actually us, even though it might be convincing. It's actually artificial intelligence or AI videos. Take this one as an example. Important news. Justin Trudeau's project has alarmed the biggest banks. It appears to be our CBC host, David Cochran, throwing to a news conference of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But it's not. Deepfakes digitally alter a video or person's face. Some of the first to adopt new technology like AI are fraudsters, using it to spread disinformation or revenge porn. While seemingly clunky right now, a Regina expert says the technology is improving fast. As we saw with the, the large language models um, and generative language, it, it accelerates very quickly. So what is funny now is going to become almost indistinguishable within a year for sure. Brian McQuinn says research shows most disinformation is shared without much thought. He's urging social media users to think more critically about what you're seeing. That moment where you want to click and share is the moment where you need to pause. Um, and in over the next year or two, it's going to require us to do things that as citizens, we just a level of analysis that we've just never had to do. While there is a patchwork of legislation to deal with fraud and revenge porn, McQuinn says there's nothing targeting people who make these deepfake videos. McQuinn says federal legislation is needed, but with a potential upcoming election, parliament being prorogued and tariffs, he fears this issue has been put on the back burner. There is a, a real need for us to deal with this, both from the perspective of, of privacy and protection of, of victims, but also just to be able to put pressure on the platforms, because in many cases there is none. He says as the technology becomes more sophisticated, Canadians and our laws will have to keep up. Liam O'Connor, CBC News, Saskatoon.